What's going on guys? It's your boy Zero Capital bringing you some free frog gameplay on the map Quarry using the ACR with the silencer. Pretty much my go-to gun when playing this game and I actually don't like this game at all. Um, I don't know why I even bought it but uh, you know I got it used and it gave me some entertainment so I'm not going to knock it too hard and it really doesn't bode well because Modern Warfare 3 is coming out and it's pretty much the same thing as this. You know Modern Warfare 2.5 so I don't know man, I'll play it either way, it's pretty much how it goes in the gaming world, something new comes out, you play it, and that's pretty much how that's going to go, but jump shot for days, Michael Jordan right there, <laughs> got the number 23 in my back, uh, but yeah, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3 is going to come out, and I just, I haven't felt the inclination or the motivation to even play anything like I just haven't been playing games I played like one game of Call of Duty in the past couple of weeks and it was today well maybe it's not the past couple of weeks but I played like a domination game a while ago I don't know but I played today and I got killed by some camper and I was like fuck this and I just turned off my Xbox and look at that I died to martyrdom probably one of the worst death streaks ever created so yeah, I just haven't been playing stuff. I haven't been playing League of Legends. I haven't been playing Modern Warfare 2. I haven't been playing anything. Like, I tried to get into Dead Island a little bit, and I just... I was like, man, why am I playing this? I tried some Driver San Francisco, and I was like, I don't even like this game. I actually did play... I got, like, an emulator for Super Nintendo, and I was playing NBA Jam for a while, and no, I'm not pirating the game. I actually own the cartridge for you know, the Super Nintendo, I just didn't feel like plugging in all the stuff, and you know, so I just downloaded the ROM and played on an emulator instead. I played that for some time, and I was like, man, this game is just not as good as I remember. I used to really love it, so what I wanted to talk about is this situation that has, I want to say caught my eye, but it really hasn't caught my eye, more my ears. So, you know, it's a kind of a strange thing like let's say you go to a place every day and uh, it might be work it might be school or something and you know there's a couple females that you're interested in right I don't know how many there are there could be two there could be five who the hell knows really but let's call you know let's focus on two of them let's say you're really into two of them and that's cool you know that happens a lot uh, Especially when you go to school, you just find these people that you gravitate towards and they're really nice and friendly and maybe you want to get to know them out better. Let's call them C and D. And I want to say they're A and B, but they're more C and D. So we'll go with C and D. And I don't know, maybe you're kind of the guy that likes the C and D. I don't know, I, I like the C and D. <laughs> and that kind of makes me think of CNC, Command and Conquer, but it's nothing to do with that. So you want to, you know, you're not sure which one you want. And the best thing to do is figure out, you know, what which girl would be, make the better girlfriend. Because especially if you go to school with them or work with them, you're going to see them often, probably every day. So if it goes bad, it could do really bad stuff to your work or school life. So you don't want it to go bad. You want it to go good. And how I look at it is that you basically are at a deli and there's two sandwiches. They're both tasty and you know, you're hungry, you're real hungry and you want to eat one but you're not sure which one you want to get. Um, that situation happens often man, look at that, I couldn't even hit that guy with the pred. But you can't really just nibble on one sandwich and then put it back and then go to the other and nibble on that and then put it back and then go to the other. It's just not going to work, especially when those two sandwiches are friends. Um, yeah, it's not going to bode well, so just pick one. Don't be stupid. Anyways, I realized that uh, it was kind of convoluted for most of you, but it's a situation that a lot of us are in sometimes. So anyways, I end up going 30 and 1. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more. Peace out. 